Dear family, I have wronged. I am the one who committed the serious crime against your family, and I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. It was enough to surprise even a veteran officer. It's extremely rare. It's very positive to see that someone uh, through up good upbringing or what have you did something wrong, realized they did something wrong, and tried to fix it before anybody knew. A letter of apology left behind by a burglar who came back to Derek Brown's home to return $1,000 worth of goods he had stolen less than 24 hours before. It was the next morning. It was laying right there. Um, I almost stepped on it when I walked out the door. The Guelph residents weren't even aware the Xbox console and digital camera had been stolen from their living room. They'd been out walking their dog last Thursday night. Hey, tell me what was going through your mind. Um, just. I was a little bit more upset when I saw that just because I realized that we had actually been broken into. So, um, you felt violated? Yeah, we did. The repentant thief even enclosed $50 to cover the cost of the screen door he tore on the way in and even volunteered to perform 15 hours of community service to, in his words, partially atone for what he'd done. I compromise your feelings of safety in your own home, read the anonymous letter. Police say they can't close a criminal investigation until they make an arrest. And while the actions may seem sincere, they raise alarm bells too. The person returned the property, they gave $50 for restitution, and they also are committing themselves to 15 hours of community service work. I've taken a lot of cases to court, and those are very similar uh, punishments that a judge would deliver. And it kind of makes you wonder if this person, if this was the first time, or they are familiar with the court process. The bizarre incident has raised debate among neighbours about whether the culprit deserves redemption. But for the targeted homeowner... What did he end up taking away from you? Um, just the security that you feel. Mina Ree, Global News.